What's up guys, Nick's are back at it again with another video, and in today's video, I am going to do an unboxing video of what you may ask. Not wrestling, but Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, and as you can see, we have the Marvel Legends series. And what is it, you may ask? An Ant-Man series. But what Ant-Man? What Ant-Man? Boom. Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket. Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket. Well, up here, but before you get into detail, there's some things. Look on the back here. Yeah. Now, quickly, so you guys can get a good glimpse of the view. Hold on a minute. Can you see that? Focus. Focus. Why is it focusing? Since you could not see on that, so for my voice, um, maybe this, Ant-Man, Scott Lang, is enlisted by Hank Pym to suit up as Ant-Man and fight against competing forces tending to use the incredible shrinking pit particles for evil. Hill Jackson says, the new lead of Pym Industries, Dan Cross, threatens to sell his highly weaponized yellow jacket to, to, the, to the criminal organization Hydra. Now, the one thing I do love about this, so it matches Hydra and Ant-Man, so I'm glad it did like a whole... And maybe so glad to be Captain America in Civil War type of thing a year later. So that's awesome. Like I said, sorry for my voice. Just got out of Geeks at the Beach, which if you see right here, it says price was 20 I got it for 15 because they got off of me $5 off. Anyways. <clears throat> um, so yeah. So let's just get straight into this video. Unbox it and I can show you what's going on. Yeah, man. So I did it. I'll let these bad boys out, shall we? Um, so yeah, sorry if I'm pausing. Um, like way too much. It's just because of the way my camera is. And YouTube is so. Oh, look at this. This just looks beautiful. First off, I'm gonna put this on my tape here. Let's just try to get. These guys out, but need trusty keys. Okay, so I got the tape. Now let's just check out Ant Man real quick. Tiny little things. Put the focus on that. Here's the back. Didn't get into too much detail because it doesn't have much of it. And right there. And now to the other jacket. Focus. Focus. I don't have legs on it, but yeah. But anyways, let's move on. Now let's see. Stop playing. Maybe this is how we can. So you know guys, um so you know, just like Sean. I fell. I'm trying to do this while I can. Oh, that's probably the reason. See you guys. Yes. Tape, maybe? I don't think so. Hold on, give me just like one second. Hold on, give me like one second and I'll come back. 
So you guys, here is um Scott Lee's head. You can kinda see the beard. It's like the actual thing with his blue eyes. And his hair piece is done very well. It's like an actual human head. So yeah. I wonder if I can put like this head on my other ant man. Because like my other ant man I have been getting old for ant man to watch just like smiling, so yeah. Hold on a minute. So yeah, so I just think that the Scott Lang head design is awesome, but quick size by size comparison between it and the yellow jacket. It's like you just punched him, but like other than that, I feel like Yellow Jacket is bigger than the Ant Man, so full neat thing, but anyways, let's go on to the actual figures themselves. So now starting with Ant Man, um He looks awesome, by the way. So thank you to, thank you to the guy who gave me fifteen dollars on this. Um I've actually been eyeing this, so he said, I'm a legend. It's like, I'm a legend. Ten years of Marvel Studios, then. Yeah, he got $15. So I just got to buy that. So, yeah. So here's the Ant Man. Love this design. It, it actually like brings out the colors from the movie. The one thing I do have to complain about him is like his hands are open. Like I'll get to that in a second. But he should have had like removable hands. He could have like fist and stuff. So like you close it out like. Like, you could pose it out like Yellow Jacket, and then he could hold him with like one hand. Then he, other than this one, he could be like, ah, 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 or something like that. So, like, you know, you don't punch me straight to the face, or like, come on, I don't know. I don't know. It would, it, that would be cool, but I just like closed hands better than the actual ones. But, other than that, um, the suit's amazing. The head looks like an actual ant. Like, like, it just looks like an actual ant, so that's awesome. But, the one thing is, I did not break him. But let's just check out this mask real quick. Like the little breathing technology. Of like how they bring out the like the actual colors, but let's see how Scott Lang looks into the Ant Man suit. Sorry that took me a while. Um but anyways so love the feet design, but this is how Scott Lang looks into the Ant Man suit. Um I'm sorry I love this little piece right here. I like blending if you have the Ant Man suit on. Like it has that little piece like it's holding the gear. Like down, so you know, like if we're gonna shrink, like you can just like press this button, and then <clears throat> sorry for my voice once again. Like hit that button, then you can go into small size. You can hit like this button, and then you can go into normal size. So yeah, so that's really neat. So I'm hold on. So yeah, I'm just switching it back to Ant Man um, because it looks weird with the Scott Lang, but I don't know. Two little figures. But, anyways, let's go on to the yellow jacket. So, I got the two awesome. This is kind of a bit of a tough one to do. No, actually, I don't think so. Maybe. I could be wrong. I think I probably just jinxed it. comes off but let's just take it the yellow jacket my now I do have two complaints about him one of them is that he doesn't have removable hands like with Ant-Man he has a removable head but 
you should find like at least like movable hands. You know, like an open hand on this one and then close fixed on this one. And then my other one is like he doesn't have like a normal headpiece like Ant Man does with Scott Lang. But other than that he looks awesome. Like it really like brings out like the yellow jacket inside of him. Well, brings out like the yellow jacket from the movie. Anyways, let's get on with this one. Sorry I paused, but look at this. That just looks awesome. So like you have like the little yellow jacket things. Do if like you could like make it all the way. I don't know. Okay, let's put this on the back of Yellow Jacket and see what he looks like. So this is what Yellow Jacket looks like. Um, because I love the articulation on him. But one thing I do have to say about this back piece, um, be very very careful. Um, but yeah, but that looks cool. That just looks awesome. So you guys, we have the Yellow Jacket and the Ant Man, the two little. Oh wait a minute, here's the Yellow Jacket. So once again, you can shrink down to that. Um, and then yeah, so um, there's a little Ant Man right there. And then, like I said, my other complaint about the Yellow Jacket is that you just have a movable head like Ant Man. But that would have been cool to have. Maybe if they have a single figure of the Yellow Jacket, he does. But I don't know. But guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like on it. Click that big red subscribe button. Tap that notification bell for more Marvel Legends unboxing. I'll see you guys later. Bye.